High gas prices, you knew this was coming, have been driving motor scooter sales. One of the nation's largest scooter dealers has seen its sales double annually for the last three years and expects even faster growth this year. Here to talk about this motor scooter boom is Jim Colby. He's co-owner of Genuine Scooter Company in Chicago. Good to see you. Good to see you. How's business? Business is great right now. What, what do you attribute this to? Is this all high gasoline prices? Well, we see a lot of people coming in complaining about gas prices and wanting good quality, lower price alternative transportation. So that would be your anecdotal evidence of customers saying, I just can't take it anymore. Absolutely. Well, what kind of change in your business have you seen? Let's, let's keep it to the last year or so, since Katrina maybe. Well, we've seen uh, sales pretty much double. That's massive. Has the profile of your typical scooter buyer changed at all? Uh, to some degree it has. We've seen uh, more people wanting quality alternative transportation rather than just using a scooter for a fun toy on the weekend. Are these people from urban or suburban areas? It's actually from both. There's a lot of growth in the urban area because there's also costs of owning a vehicle in an urban area, but we see it in both areas. How much do they cost, Jim? Uh, the genuine scooters that uh, we build range between $1,899 and $2,899. That's that could be even cheaper than some bicycles that are out there right now. Absolutely. <laughs> um, how, what kind of gas mileage do the scooters get? Uh, the genuine scooters that we sell range from 90 miles to gallon all the way up to an uh, economical 120 miles per gallon. 120 miles per gallon. Yes. Okay, that sounds good. But but here's the problem. You can't you can't schlep the two kids in the soccer and hockey equipment on the back of them, can you? Well, most of the vehicles hold two people pretty easily and there's uh, ample storage for going to the grocery store and and different things can be added. There's actually sidecars that can be added onto some scooters to turn it into a multi uh person vehicle. Oh, that's very pre-war Berlin. Yeah, um, very. How much does it cost to fill one up? Uh, they're usually about two gallon gas tanks, so today it's uh, six bucks or a little more. So what are you doing to grow the business right now? It seems to be on autopilot, but big business people would say that's right when you have to really concentrate on making sure that things go well in the future. Well, we're trying to promote the awareness of the scooter, especially the genuine scooters, as quality vehicles. We offer two-year warranties, unlimited miles. It's alternative transportation. It's cheap to own, so we're marketing both in the trade journals and in the consumer segment to make awareness of these vehicles as viable transportation like they are in Europe and Asia. Where are yours made? India, correct? Uh, we have plants in India and Taiwan. And Taiwan. And, and do you plan to expand? Well, we certainly plan to expand the line. We're up to four models this year. We'll be adding more in the future to, to meet the different uh, market segments that exist. How many do you own personally? Uh, personally, I have three. Three? What colors? No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> that's such a girl question. In the end, I guess, what would you say to a prospective buyer who says, what if gas prices come down? Well, it's good quality transportation, alternative transportation. It's lower cost to buy the vehicle, lower cost to insure it. If you're an urban person, parking is much less of an issue. So just total cost of ownership, regardless of gas, but certainly yeah. high gas prices help. Yeah, get them in Boston. There's no parking in Boston. Good exactly. to see you, Jim. Thank